Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are going to do a video that's been requested by several people on my Instagram or subscribers here on YouTube. If you're not following me on Instagram, that is where I check in daily and that is where I really connect with you guys and do giveaways. So I hope you'll join me there at Amanda's Favorites. Okay, so about September 15th um, was the day that I switched out of my passion planner, which I had been in for about four and a half months, into my Erin Condren. Yes, two very, very different planners. So the majority of the year I have spent in Inkwell Flex, and then I switched. So I actually started the year in Plum Paper, which is what I had been in, along with Emily Dick. Uh, Emily Lay daily using them in conjunction and then I went into Inkwell Flex her horizontal for a couple months and then I went into Passion Planner for four and a half months and now I have been in Erin Condren for about a month now so I wanted to report on how that's going and how I'm planning in my Erin Condren because I've had several questions if you want to know more of my planning history I have a whole video about that on my YouTube channel in my planner playlist and I will try to remember to link that below but if not it's called my planning history okay so this is not going to be going through um, a review of either one of these planners or all the features because I have separate videos on those check out my planner playlist on my channel I have complete reviews of both these planners and going through all their details page by page so this is just going to be on how I use it and how my switch went. So you guys know I loved my passion planner, used it for four and a half months. Um, this is how it looks when it's in full use. If I did a thorough like saying goodbye video and full flip through and I also have videos of how I planned in it each month. So if you're more interested in that, go check those videos out. I just wanted to pull this out to show you I have the classic size passion planner and this is kind of what my planning was looking like in it. Okay, so I made the switch to Erin Condren for a couple reasons. And number one, just being I was ready for a change. I run this channel and so one of the perks is that I get to use the excuse that I need to plan in different planners and to kind of report to you guys. And so... This is my very first Erin Condren to ever do my daily planning in, you guys. I do have a horizontal, neutral Erin Condren that I do photo journaling in, which I started back in August uh, when this planner started. Uh, so, yeah, I have that, and I am doing my photo journaling in there. I have videos about that also. But this is that was my very first Erin Condren. This is my first Erin Condren to plan in. So I have been into planners for a long time, but I have resisted Erin Condren mainly because of her paper quality and her price. Um, my sister had Erin Condren, so I was able to feel her paper and really look at her planners for several years. And just for the price of the planner, just the paper quality to me and the planner she was putting out, I just, I wasn't super impressed with and I was happy with what I had. But she changed her paper quality this year to 80 pound uh, paper, which is about 120 GSM. And it is really lovely paper. It's not as good as Inkwell, which I name like the top planner paper at 140 GSM, but it is really good paper. All right, and so I just, I wanted to try Erin Condren and so far I've been really happy. It actually just makes me happy. And that was my reason for switching. Passion Planner was really functional and really good for me, and I could add a lot of color in there and everything. But I was just ready for something different and something with maybe more color, and just I was ready for a little bit of a change. And Erin Condren just called happy to me. I was also kind of tired of Inkwell's muted colors that just repeats in the four color schemes per year. Um, so that's why I went to Erin Condren. All right. I actually bought a colorful vertical, but I didn't start it until January, and I thought I would be fine waiting till January to switch. But you know what, you guys? I got so antsy to switch, 
And this way I thought, well, I'll have a neutral vertical and a colorful vertical to do comparison videos and to play around with. So um, on a sale, I bought the neutral vertical because I just wanted to start it before January. I am going to be switching to my colorful vertical in January and then I can kind of like be able to report to you guys like if I have a preference on the neutral or the colorful vertical. So let's get into it. This is the neutral vertical. This is not going to be a full walkthrough of the planner. It's just going to be how I'm using it and how it's working for me. I have other full walkthrough videos and I will have a video um, coming out soon that compares the neutral vertical to the colorful vertical. I already have a video that compares the neutral horizontal to the colorful vertical. All right, if that wasn't enough, blah, 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 blah for you guys. All right, but if you're planner people, you'll get it. I always put these little sticky notes. They are the two inch by one and a half inch sticky notes. And this pack I bought on Amazon, it has this light blue color, it has baby blue color, and it has a light pink color. I love this light, light blue color because it's the closest to white I can get in this size. And one whole, uh, one of those post-its turned this way actually fits in these little um, rectangles. But I like to cut them into thirds, which is just really easy for me to snip and load this up. So I can do some pre-planning and events that are not maybe locked in yet. So let's get into where I started planning in September. This um, I kind of use this board. I've talked about before how I love the Inkwell mission board and the Inkwell plan and focus page and habit trackers, which is a two-page spread you get every month. If you don't know about Inkwell, you can go and watch one of my videos, but I will show you real quick what I'm talking about. My favorite monthly planning pages in any planner are the Inkwell, this two-page spread, and if you want to know about that, you can check out some of my Inkwell videos. So I'm not 100%, you know, like totally into how I'm going to use this Erin Condren monthly page. There's certain things I keep track of every month and they definitely need to go on here. But besides that, how I'm going to utilize it for other things or even how I'm going to write this on every month, I'm not really sure. That's my September and you can tell my October is already looking different. Um, and I haven't added on all my October information yet, even though we're mid-October now. So that's how that's looking. I started this planner on September 15th, so here's the very end of September planned out. Even though it's neutral, you do get that little pop of color every month, and so I just wanted to kind of go with that color scheme with the stickers and with my writing also. Okay, so how did my first day's planning in this look? These were my very, very first day's planning in Erin Condren. I already knew how I was going to use my boxes, and that has actually worked out just as well as I thought it would. I knew I was going to use my very top boxes for my go-tos or my timed events for that day or errands that had to be done that were non-negotiable that day. So I knew that was going to be going in my top box. And that's how my top boxes are looking. And you'll see there's some days with nothing there. So I can easily tell that I have no timed events that day and apps or appointments type of thing and absolutely no errands that are non-negotiable that day. So that's how I can easily look across my day. Then the next two boxes I'm just using for random stuff I need to remember on that day or to do's. So here's how a full week looked, my first full week after I had used it. You guys know if you have followed me that I use a separate Erin Condren hardbound notebook right now for my weekly and then my daily to-do lists. So this would just not be enough room for me. It would be, that was the whole reason why I switched from Inkwell at first to Passion Planner was there just wasn't enough room for my weekly and daily lists and passion planner obviously you have you just have a lot more room in the eight and a half by eleven and you have all this room for weekly to-do lists so that was one of my big reasons for switching there and after that switch though I realized that I actually just like to keep it in a separate book um, I had been just keeping my daily to-do list and my Emily lay daily 
but I did not use her timed column. And so it was kind of a waste and the page didn't flow right for me. And so I just really prefer a little tiny notebook. Um, and I have a whole video on that and how I use it on my weekly and daily to-do list and my Erin Condren hardbound notebook. So this is what my week looks like without having, you know, all those extraneous lists. Like my weekly to-do list might have, you know, 20 things on it. They're not all going to get done that week. They're things that I can look off of and say, what can I get done this week? What's more important? And those are usually the things I write over here, things that I'm really aiming to try to get done that week. I try to put over here and put at my forefront or assign them a day if it's something where I know there's a day that I'm going to try to do that item on. So that's how I do that. In my first week, I was putting my weather temps, highs and lows up here. And that was working fine. And I like to write my sunrise and my sunset time here. Even though it changes daily, I just put it once for the week. And I was kind of just writing like a good thing or a victory for the week in that box right there. And I was writing my gem stuff down here. This little nine is an idea I got from, I think it's Jen Plans, I think. Or Plan with Jen. Um, I'll try to look and put that in here. But she puts little numbers counting down to like her next kid's school break or counting down to their vacation. And I actually loved that idea because I'm always counting that up. So this is how many weeks till Thanksgiving break where we get a whole week off. So we're excited about that. Okay, so then we went into October, and this is what my October plan looks like. These were the stickers that came in her fall surprise box, the Erin Condren fall surprise box. So this is what my October is looking like planned out on my monthly. And then here we go into the weekly. Um, I was still doing my temperatures up here at the beginning of this week, but then I kind of thought to try to use a first line down here instead of it would just visually not add just as much at the top of the page. And I've actually been liking that. And I even switched to writing them in a different color this week to coordinate with that color. And I kind of like that because my temperatures stand out then. So I ended up moving my temperatures down here. And I still have my countdown, my eight weeks till Thanksgiving. I like to check off each day. It's just how my brain works. So I can visually just glance at my planner at the week I'm on and I just see which day is checked off and, you know, where it's not checked off. I know that's the day I'm on. I know that sounds crazy that I cannot keep track of what day we are on, but I just like to visually see that check. So this was last week and all my temps were down here in the top line. And then I have my exercise, but I stopped writing it out here. Sometimes I just forget. It's not that important to me. I do kind of like to see what I did, but I typically am always at the gym Monday through Friday. Anything extra, never on Sunday. Rarely on Saturdays will I go like jog outside alone. Monday through Friday is the gym with my teenage son every day before school. So I know I'm there because he will not let me skip. And so I just kind of like to write down what I do, but I don't have to because obviously I skipped days of writing and then I don't remember what I did and it doesn't really matter. So that's how that's going. If there's big things in advance, I do like to use her stickers that came with her planner. Um, you guys know if you know Erin Condren, her planner comes with four sheets of stickers. So let me try to get these up and show you. You have your flags and they coordinate with her monthly colors. And then you have just your little like labels for appointments. You have kind of these gold foiled like reminder stickers. And then you have these really pretty gold foil blank ones. So you can use them however you want. So each one of her planners comes with those four sticker pages. I tear them out and put them in her pocket folder. So they're easier for me to use because I don't find it easy to use when they're in the planner. So how has this been working for me? It's been working amazingly well. I've loved it. I love the new blank slate. Um, I can't wait to choose my colorful vertical in January to just compare if I like the neutral or the colorful better. Um, I think I'm going to be excited to switch to the colorful personally. I love her little page marker. Her ruler to me is just too big. It's a good ruler, but um, 
it's it's just big and bulky and I just love having this little page marker in here so this has worked perfect for me perfect for me she sells them in packs of three and they're not very expensive at all so if you're doing an order you can add those in there and sometimes they even carry them at Staples or maybe on Amazon too okay a lot of times I put my events you know with my sticky notes if I'm not sure about them or I think it might not get done that day and I'm gonna have to move it to a different day now sometimes when it gets close I end up just writing it permanently or sometimes I don't ever end up writing it permanently it just stays on these stickies which I wish the sticky notes were white but that's the closest I can get in this size that I like to cut into thirds and it just works for me so that's how I'm doing it this is how my one week ahead looks so how I kind of plan ahead and I already had to like white out something there and you know what it's okay with me I'm totally fine with that if you follow me you know I am not a perfectionist I am a functional planner and this is real life and this is how I plan and I don't do any of this for show for you guys in the daily planner that I am daily planning in like none of this is anything for show it is just it's my life this is how I plan this is how I planned before I started my channel and it's how I plan now nothing has changed except for you know I've changed planners but these are my weeks ahead do you guys ever have this problem? Some of the Erin Condren stickers seem to stick really well. Well, I mean, I would say most of them. But some of them just, and I have not removed this and replaced it. Like, this was the first place I placed it. And it it just keeps coming up, and I keep having to push it down. Do you guys ever have that problem with Erin Condren stickers? Let me know. I would actually like to know if I'm, like, the only one. So, pre-planned, this is, like, how November looks. This is how my Halloween looks, week looks. Um, I like when she starts a new month that you have like an asterisk there to kind of be like, it's a new month. In her colorful, it's even more apparent because these boxes have the um, header of color on them and the color switches with a new month. And I actually really like that. So, because I'm a very visual person. But she even switches her flags up here. And I like that. It's just more apparent in the colorful. Okay, so that's how my planning ahead looks. I will just flip a little bit through here for you guys. I am not afraid to write things in and plan ahead as some people have asked me. You guys, there's white out and I'm just, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not worried about that. I want to actually use my planner. I want to actually write in it. And I actually, you know, prefer to write on the paper versus sticky notes because I just, you know, I like the look of it better and it's more fun to write on paper, but some things are, you know, not permanent enough to write in there yet. But that is my future planning. I did not plan January in here because I knew I was switching to my colorful vertical, but I knew for looking ahead at appointments and stuff, I might just want to have them in here. So I just stuck them in with sticky notes real quick into January. But that is how I'm using my Erin Condren, and I am really happy with it, and I'm just, I'm having fun with it, and I like it, and it makes me happy. So I'm happy for the switch right now. I'm happy for you guys to follow along with me. Um, if you use Passion Planner or Erin Condren, I, or I'd love to hear about it below, and tell me what you love about it. Uh, it's probably maybe some of the same things I love, but it might be different things. And I love to hear about how other people are planning and what they're loving about their planner. Okay, guys, thanks for checking in with me. As I'm in there and conjuring longer, I will do more videos and show how my planning is going in it and changing and evolving as I use it longer. All right, we'll see you next time. Happy planning.